Hi there, welcome to Kick Media. My name is Brendan Comerford. Today I'm going to run through an AdWords optimization activity called Forecasting Conversions. And this is a, a quite a unique optimization activity and one of the most important activities for an account that is has a large budget and a lot of keywords. Uh, and the biggest problem is you may have a lot of keywords that have not yet converted. And you may know what your 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 KPI is for conversion activity. It might be $50 per conversion is the maximum you're willing to pay. Uh, but if you have uh, 100 or 200 keywords that are that are all spending uh, maybe 20 up to $30, uh, the most you've ever spent on that keyword yet hasn't quite hit your $50 worth and it still hasn't converted. So if you can imagine spending that over 100 or 200 keywords, it can be a very expensive activity uh, to determine and identify if a keyword is ever going to result in a conversion. So we're going to show you how to forecast that using Google Analytics engagement data. Now in your analytics account there are a number of engagement metrics that uh, are available and you can integrate your Google Analytics with your AdWords account to be able to pull that data in. And the most important engagement metrics are visit duration or session duration, so the amount of seconds uh, someone visits on your website, uh, the bounce rate, uh, depending on the site and how it's designed uh, can be very important uh, the, and the number of page views. So uh, the more page views generally it re, uh, determines whether a, a user is engaged and likely to be in consumer mode or you know, is actually willing to do some research. Uh, so we want to use that, th that data and bring it into the AdWords account and use it to filter uh, on keywords that have never converted. And I'll show you an example on this account. You can see uh, this is a great account example to do it on because it's a, there's a large budget, um, there's a lot of conversion activity, uh, and there's a bit of history. So I'm going back all time to show you an example of this, uh, but uh, generally you can, you can also do this on an account uh, that has only 30, you know, 30 days worth of conversion data as well. Uh, so using a good sample size here, uh, you can see that it's quite easy to see the trend data on conversion uh, volume, so conversions here, cost and cost per conversion and the conversion rate. So looking at this, uh, these are the keywords that are obviously generating the most amount of conversions. So this, this is easy to obviously optimize for. And as long as it's uh, in an acceptable cost per conversion level, um, you can continue optimizing. Uh, and this one is performing quite well. But the real challenge is when you keep scrolling down, and I'll keep going down to the bottom, and you get down to the conversions where there's not a lot of sample size data. Uh, but it's converted, so you could do your initial. Now, most people would initially optimize based on everything that is an expensive cost per conversion, um, and you'd probably wait until you get maybe one, two, three, or five keywords. You need enough sample size volume in statistics to be able to get an average. Um, so to be able to determine on one or two keywords even is not really enough data to, to work out if this is an acceptable cost per conversion that we need to wait till it averages out. Uh, however, the real challenge is when you get down to, and I keep scrolling to the bottom, here we get to the uh, zero levels. So you've got zero uh, conversion activity here. Uh, so there's never been a conversion, but you can see on the right hand, we're still spending money. And there's pages and pages of this. There's hundreds of keywords in this account that uh, are spending $4, $1, $8. Um, and obviously it's hard to know what your cost per and uh, cost per conversion should be on a product level because every product has different margins. So you can do that in your analytics e-commerce tracking. But in this case, we are, we are working it out just as an average for uh, benchmarking performance here. So uh, we're going to say 50, anything that is uh, under $50 is, is an acceptable cost per conversion as an average for this exercise. So here we can see there's a lot of spend if you accumulate and total it all. Um, and zero conversion activity, it just keeps going and going. There's pages of this, and here's one forty forty three dollars. Quite not quite there, so that it, that's an expensive one to to uh, to realize it hasn't converted. Um, so the question is, will do we turn this keyword off? Do we keep spending? Do we go up to the fifty dollars? This one you may consider turning off at seventy one dollars, depending on the product that keyword represents, um, and it may be you know uh, it may not you know the zero conversion, so your cost per if it, if it converted now, your cost per conversion would be $71, of course. So again, knowing when to pause those keywords that have never converted is one of the most difficult uh, things to do. Um, so we're going to try and, especially if you're in a keyword expansion mode and you're building out or expanding an account, it can be a very expensive way to learn what's going to convert or not. So let me show you how we do that. So I'm going to bring up uh, some screenshots that I've taken from uh, an integration or a filter that's in any AdWords account. 
Um, we've integrated the analytics data and we've done some filters. So we've looked at all the data uh, and we've put it over a long period of time and we've added in average session duration less than 50 seconds, bounce rate um, over 50% and pages uh, viewed or pages per session uh, less than two. Uh, so, uh, sorry, yeah, less than two. So we've wanted to look at um, what is uh, not good data. So you can see here anything that's less than 50 seconds or over 50% bounce rate, it's not ideal. Now, why have we decided on those metrics? Well, we've actually gone through and tested uh, you know, different levels, whether it be uh, over, over one minute, over 30 seconds, over two minutes, under under 20 seconds. So, and we've done the same with bounce rate. We tried to find what was uh, a good average uh, that where it didn't differ too much. So we've done all that already. Uh, so now we've, we've chosen to stay with these metrics. And what we've done is we've reversed it down here. So we've gone with less than 50 seconds and here we've gone with over 50 seconds. So obviously this up here is, is not ideal. Uh, down the bottom is ideal. This is high engagement and up here is low engagement. And what we want to do is based on, and that's the only filter we've added in, okay, on every single keyword. Uh, we haven't filtered in uh, clicks or conversion data. We haven't filtered in anything. So it's based on engagement data only. And what you can see is quite a unique difference in results. So starting with the low engagement, we can see that the cost per conversion was $218. So low engagement, very high cost per conversion. Um, and we can see that was on about 6,000, you know, nearly six and a half thousand dollars worth of spend there. Uh, but if we go down to the filter on uh, greater than 50 seconds, less than 50% bounce rate, and has visited more than two pages on the website, we can see the cost per conversion was $17. So a big, big difference. Now, luckily that's great because the most of their budget was also spent on, you know, on the quality engagement traffic. So this represents about six and a half, nearly $6,300 worth of opportunity that we can start to cull out of the account. Um, and we can start to drill in and look at each individual keyword that is, is providing um, uh, a low experience. Now, from here, obviously, this is factoring in all conversion, all all um, uh, all conversion activity, as well as uh, uh, keywords that have not converted. So, we would want to drill in, and the next filter that you would want to do here is looking at all the keywords that have had never had a conversion. So, going back here, and we'd be a, uh, we'd filter on all keywords that have a conversion of less than one, which would be zero. Uh, and from here, you would filter on all the zero converted keywords, what are the ones that are providing a low engagement experience. And from there, you can make a decision to do two things. One, pause off those keywords, or try and identify why that keyword was not converted. Converting. So look at the, the structure, what match type, what is the ad relevance, is it landing on the right page, and then obviously you, and then obviously look at the relevance of of those of that keyword and then decide to either peel and stick it into its own campaign and ad group or ad group and make it more targeted or maybe the keyword wasn't a high quality keyword it wasn't a keyword that was in maybe it was too generic or maybe it was irrelevant or maybe it was in not in the decision phase of the buying cycle it was just research so again who knows why uh, we need to work out why that keyword wasn't converted from there you can then decide uh, with with high accuracy and, and so probably about 70 to 80 percent probability on this strategy which is really good when you're dealing with you know hundreds or maybe thousands of keywords uh, so what you would do then is just filter off all those keywords that have never converted um, and maybe you could also do an over another filter so maybe conversion activity less than one so zero uh, but then everything that is over your KPI, so $50. Uh, now those ones you'd probably pause off anyway, but um, if you can also identify that anything that's over your KPI target of $50 per conversion um, and has low engagement, then it gives you more confidence that, hey, this is not going to convert ever, turn them off. Uh, or you may decide, okay, or you may change the, the engagement data to say, okay, well, it's, it's, a good quick, it's a good keyword, why hasn't it converted? Let's then look into uh, maybe we can optimize it to put into its own ad group. Uh, so this, that's a great way of uh, optimizing based on uh, analytics engagement data to forecast conversion activity. Uh, now we've been doing this for a little while now and getting some pretty great results. Uh, uh, certainly saves a business a lot of money in working out uh, what is likely to convert before it even gets its first conversion. Uh, you can also do it if you've got a lot of keywords that are providing one conversion over time um, 
but uh, have, have, have sorry, have provided one conversion ever. Um, but it's a good keyword. You still want it, and you, you obviously want to be able to uh, filter what is the problem there. Is that resulting in a low quality engagement? Uh, maybe it's a targeting issue. So again, uh, that's it for this uh, vlog. If there's uh, any questions on this, please feel free. Uh, to contact us at Kick Media and we can go through and show you how to uh, apply this strategy on your account and see if it is going to be effective uh, for your business. So thanks for listening and uh, have a great day.